Wait, what's this? It's a like a jack in the box. Oh, dude, it's gonna is it gonna kill us? Maybe it's just a note to read. Okay, so it's a little jack in the box of the killer. What the fuck? This game is called Massacre at the Mirage. It's made by the same developer as Suffer the Night. Now this is just a demo right now. Um, but the character looks a lot like the dude from Suffer the Night. So let's check this out. This is Massacre at the Mirage. Ooh, Halloween, 1988, just outside the Mirage. I can't believe I'm stuck working on Halloween night. What a total drag. <laughs> I don't know who still loves <coughs> these old black and white midnight shows every October. God, stop blowing that shit in my face. At least I'm not working alone. I'm glad Ben will be here to keep me company. Well, I better head inside. The doors will be opening soon. So we're just outside the Mirage, which is the name of the theater. No, Mr. White. We have to cook, Jesse. We have to cook. All right, well, I guess we'll go back inside the Mirage and see what's going on. Talk to Ben in the box office. All right, let's go talk to Ben. Hey, hey, Ben. What's up? Hey, Ben. You're working the box office tonight, I see. Ben, you good? Ben, don't look at me like that. Ben, you're freaking me out. Ben. Yeah. Who knows what kind of ghosts and ghouls are going to wander in tonight. <laughs> right? Who wants to watch an old black and white movie on Halloween night anyway? I know I would rather be out partying right now. I know I. Bill loves these late night shows. And I would rather be out partying so right now. I just wish we weren't so short staffed. It can get kind of hectic sometimes. Speaking of which. Bill needs you to load and test the projector before we open for the night. I believe he's up in his office waiting for you. Speaking of which. All right, I'm going to head inside then. Okay. Let's go talk to old Phil. Apparently I'm wider than one door. <laughs> Suck it in. I can see the inside. Come on. Oh, man, dude. This brings back a lot of memories. We actually played these. We have played this. Oh, these are all their games. And Mr. Tops is the name of the the character. The, this guy. Oh, dude, this is like exactly how they look. I don't know if they still look like this, but growing up, Dude, you go to the roller skating rink, you want to get some quarters for the uh, for the arcade machines, for the arcade games. This is what you're getting right here. This is your change machine. Uh, Phil's office right here. Wow, that's a fast run. That's a real, real quality run you got there. This place is cool though, man. I love the design of everything. Ah. Uh. Phil, how are you? The cat has devil horns on its head. Oh, I know where this is going. So, uh, Phil, about that raise. <laughs> hey, Phil. Ben told me you needed to see me. Good evening, Nico. Yes, I know I have been no. getting the snack bar no. But I need your help with the film projector as well. Sure. What do you need me to do? I need you to grab the footage from I, Eric down in the I need you. And then load and test the film on the projector. Everything should be good with it. I just want to double check and make sure. <laughs> dude, dude, good good voice acting. That, that fits the character, too. It's like simple enough. I'll go see Eric. One more thing. Oh, okay. Wow. Before you go and see Eric, can you please gather all of the trash? From the trash bin to take it to the dumpster out. Is he going to make it through this conversation? <laughs> through the dumpsters in the back. Sure thing, boss. Awesome. Thanks, Nico. Okay, so we have to collect all of the trash. I need you to collect all the trash. And then go fix and test the projector screen. 
All right, so oh, we cannot jump. I was gonna try and jump down the stairs. Uh, I I didn't see any trash. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's two. No trash over. Oh, I should probably shut these. Uh, is there any back here? I'm not ready to start work at the snack bar. Okay, so let's go in here. Still looking for trash cans. Here's one. There's one thing I love about horror games more than jump scares and a good narrative. It's chores. Uh, I love when games give you a ton of chores to do. Seems like a common theme in the horror genre. Wow. These uh, these hallways are tight. Any trash cans up here? Oh, dude, this is awesome. Oh, is this Kino der Toten? I feel like we're in the projector room of Kino der Toten. Film projector requires the top feeder canister to work with film loaded into it. The canister should be on the table close by. A film feeder canister, right? It requires film before it can be installed. I don't know where we get the film. Oh, talk to Eric in the basement. That's right. Phil wanted me to uh, take all the trash out before talking to Eric. Okay. Any trash cans in here? Oh, that's us. Awesome. Okay. Dude, no trash cans in the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh. Three left. Dude, good design. Definitely a well-designed game. Like, atmosphere-wise and... The building itself is nice. All right, and right here, and one more. Okay. No flashlights. We can't even like check out the the theater. That's cool though. Okay, and then we gotta talk to Eric. I'm guessing that's this door down here, or take out the trash here. God. Excuse me, young lady. Can you spare some change? Can you spare some change? Shit, man. Don't you know not to sneak up on people like that? <laughs> Dude, okay. So when I came out here, I was thinking about Mr. Tops, you know, the guy that's like on the cover. And I'm like looking off in the distance. Like I was thinking to myself, when is he going to show up? And then I, I wasn't expecting this dude. And I turned around and like I thought it was going to be... You know, the killer. Please, young lady. Help an old drunk get his booze for Halloween. You have been told not to hang around back here. This is private property. Now get out of here. Ah, forget ah. you, you ugly old bitch. What the fuck? Well, if there's if there's any chance of me helping him out in the future, that's gone. You got no shoes on. Oh shit! And stay out. Okay. All right, now we go talk to Eric. So this is where we get our film. Dude, this guy is cool as fuck. Hey, Nika! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Hey, Eric, how are things? You're looking pretty mellow right now. Yeah, nothing's going to harsh my vibe tonight. That's for sure. Let's just say I got my hands on some high quality brownies. You can have one if you like. Sure. Maybe after work. I don't think I can handle working the snack bar. No worries. Just let me know. Anyway, what brings you down to my... What brings world? you... Phil sent me to grab the footage for tonight so I can test it before we open the doors. Phil's always worried about the show. But yeah, it's right on the table. It should be good to go. Should be Thanks good to there. go. Guys, it's good to go. Oh, by the way, I ran into that homeless man out back hanging around the dumpster again. Ah, bummer. I'll head out back and make sure the back gate is locked. 
Yoink. All right, and I'll shut his door. Uh, I can't guarantee if it's locked. It's definitely shut. And then we'll go up here. Load the projector. Okay. Grab that. Perfect. All right, so we're testing the footage. While we float over the theater. Oh shit, you see that? Not not Dracula, but the uh Mr. Tops was like spliced in there. Looks just like the vampire from Red Dead. Like that's who they based their vampire on, was this guy. Okay, pass the test. Nosferatu. Wow. That test footage was actually kind of creepy. It was. Okay, okay, okay. It's only a demo, so I feel like shit's got to happen soon. Like, you can't really drag it out if the demo's only... <laughs> the demo's only, like, a few minutes, you know? I, I feel like, at this point, anything can jump out at us. Maybe. All right, we got to head to the snack bar. Time to go to work. Instructions. Admit guests as soon as they... Arrive at the box office. Once they are inside, serve them their orders at the snack bar. Switch between Nika at the snack bar and Ben at the box office by interacting with the small service bells. Okay, well, I guess we switch to Ben. Because we got to sell tickets before we can serve food. Ah, first customer. Is she dressed as a maid? Oh, hello. Hello, can I get a ticket, please? Why, yes, you can. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what is she looking at? And then we got to switch back to Nika. This is kind of cool. I like this little mechanic. This is nice. And our current order is a plain hot dog, rainbow candy, popcorn, and tortilla chips. So, rainbow candy, uh, tortilla chips, popcorn. Oh, shit. This is a popcorn machine. Okay. I don't have any items for this order. Popcorn? Um, it definitely says popcorn. All right, uh, plain hot dog. I need a bun. Okay, well, let me get that. Oh, it's plain. Okay. All right, there you go. It definitely said popcorn. Right? I'm not losing my mind, am I? All right, so now where is Ben? Waiting for our next customer. I shouldn't leave the box office. Dude, no one's going on dates anymore. Everybody's just like solo customers. Hello, can I get a ticket, please? Yes, you can. One moment. I love the old school ticket machine. All right, enjoy. Yeah, for a demo, game seems decent. Oh, shit. <laughs> we gotta serve food. 
Dew soda, vanilla ice cream, and gummy bears. Let me get you your gummy bears since they're right here. And your dew soda. And ice cream, right? Ice cream. Oh, did it say vanilla? Fuck. Oops, I guess I'll have to eat the, the strawberry one. Now get out of here. Oh, dude, do you think it's gonna be a jump scare? Like... Like we switch back from her to him and there's a, there's gonna be someone standing here. Oh, that's our dude. That's Mr. Tops right there. <laughs> Creepy fuck. Look at that old rusted ice cream truck. Wow. That was fucking weird. Yeah, he definitely looks like Terrifier. So now I'm thinking we're going to sell somebody a ticket, switch back to her, serve food, and then switch back to him. And like the Terrifier guy is going to be like right in our face. Like, boom, jump scare. Just stopping by to say hi. You want a Choco Taco? Everybody's dressed up. This is kind of cool. Can I help you? One ticket coming up. Oh, right. The fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Hello, I'd like some snacks, please. All right, chocolate covered peanuts. Chocolate covered peanuts, real nuts bar, rainbow candy, and chocolate ice cream. There you go, sir. That was good. That was good, strawberry. I, I, that was a very delicious mistake that I made earlier. Wait, can I just like make my own food? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a hot dog. Dude, all this... All this working's making me hungry. Go ahead and uh, have a slice of pizza. <laughs> uh, Swallowed. Have you been eating all the food? I mean, not all of it. Most of it, yes. Oh, dude, you know I love root beer. Dude, I like this job now. All the food you can eat. Dude, Phil ain't doing shit. He ain't coming up here. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Can I get a ticket? One ticket for Catwoman. Enjoy the show. Okay. Cola soda, vanilla ice cream, Nas chocolate bar. You can't carry more than one thing. Oh, vanilla ice cream. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, this is all the food that I was eating. The, all the food I thought I was eating. It just went to my inventory. Damn it. I thought I was eating food. There you go. Oh shit, there he is. Hey, you want a ticket? Sir? Sir, I know you're back there. He's like in the booth with me. Oh my God. Dude, what if he like kills somebody? 
right in front of me. Like someone buys a ticket and then he comes out and just like slashes them. He's so shy. Have a good day. Reminds me of the frog suit from Mario Brothers 3. Uh, hot dog with condiments, gummy bears, cho chocolate ice cream, tortilla chips. All right, so there's your tortilla chips, gummy bears. Uh, a plain hot dog? No, definitely a hot dog with condiments. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. We gotta do the condiments before we pick up the hot dog. Oh, chocolate ice cream. There you go. Okay, I, th I thought he was going to be out here. Okay, and he's not in the booth either, because I, I thought that was going to be a thing. Dude, I keep waiting for the killer to just, like, murder one of our customers. It's not good for business. One ticket coming up. Enjoy the show. Uh, we need a cola, a pretzel, Nas chocolate bar. There you go. Pizza slice. All right, so one slice of pizza. Got you. I think he said a soft pretzel. And a cola soda. And we'll put this over here. There you go, kid. Have a good night. Is he breaking into the booth? I shouldn't leave. Shouldn't leave the box office unattended. I heard something. I heard a noise. I don't see anybody. It sounded like, it sounded like he unlocked the door behind me. Wait, what's this? Okay, it's a, like a jack in the box. Oh dude, it's gonna, is he gonna kill us? Maybe just a note? Maybe it's just a note to read. Okay, so it's a little jack-in-the-box of the killer. What the fuck?! Shit, man, you scared the hell out of me. Yeah? Yeah, you think? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, you want a ticket? That's a cool costume. That's a cool costume. You want a ticket? You want a ticket? Yes. Well, you don't say much. Anyway, it's seven dollars for a ticket. You think he has a wallet? Oh, it's a balloon, a balloon animal. <laughs> Filled with uh, blood? Uh, very funny. But if you want to see the movie, you need cash, man. This guy is definitely Terrifier. Like, they definitely took Terrifier from the movie for this game. What else you got? What else you got in your bag of tricks? Why don't you be a gun? What the fuck is that? Is that a steak? Looks like a roast beef. Like a, like a pot roast. Take your shit and kick rocks, weirdo. Before I call the cops. What is it? I, I can't get close enough to see what it is. Oh, okay. See you later. Yeah, we're getting murdered. Uh, now I need to clean up this mess. What is it? What the hell even is this? Fake Halloween okay, prop? It's just a fake Halloween prop. Doubt it. 
What a freak. Uh, I guess we'll never know. Damn it. There's gotta be some fucking booze. Oh, now we're playing as the homeless guy. Somewhere. Who's probably gonna get killed by Terrifier. There's gotta be some fucking booze around here somewhere. Here, let me get a bath first. Sir, can you stop pissing in the fountain? Oh, God. Well, it's nice knowing you guys. I don't see a way out of here though. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. And I don't see the killer. There we go, okay. That's the way into the theater. Let me just go over here and look around. What is that? Is that blood? Oh no, it's, oh shit! Dude, it's the ice cream truck. It's ice cream truck backed up to the alley. Oh, with three cases of beer. Oh, thanks. It must be my lucky day. No way. No <laughs> way are we surviving this. Hey, wait now. Can I still get that beer? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that hobo better not be digging through our dumpster out back again. I should go make sure the gate out back is locked. Oh, no. Not Eric, too. So what? We're just going to guide all the characters outside and they all get murdered one by one. Oh, dude, the guy could be right here. Like, he murdered the homeless guy. He might be right outside these doors as soon as we open them. Okay. No, but there is a blood trail. Is that blood? It's leading to the park. Oh, man. I hope that hobo didn't hurt himself or something. I better take a look around. Uh, is he in the dumpster? He could be in the dumpster. Okay, I can't open the dumpster, so he's not in the dumpster. Don't slip on the blood. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the blood. I was thinking about going and checking out the ice cream truck, but I'm just gonna stick to the plan here. <clears throat> oh, jeez. That's a lot of blood. I don't see him yet. Watch him be stuffed in his little shopping cart over here. Wait. Oh, no, no. There's more blood here. I, I thought the blood like went into the fountain. Okay, he's not in his shopping cart. Oh, is that him right there? Okay, I think we found him. Trick or treat? Holy fuck! That's fucking gross, man. What the fuck? I need to get inside now. Well, hold on a second. Let's admire the craftsmanship. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, he completely skinned his face. Is it gonna blow up? Oh, we're fucking dead. We're not getting back inside. Right? I'll be shocked if we actually get to the door without dying. I don't see... I don't see the clown anywhere. Okay. Uh, I should probably shut that. Oh, I 
shut the gate! No! Is he ripping my face off? No, I think he just took the whole head. Oh yeah, he definitely ripped our head off. Dude! Dude, that's, that's good. <laughs> so we get to play as all the characters from their perspective and just watch them all die. That was great. That was, that was pretty graphic too. It was definitely like a slasher film. As long as they stick to that, you know, it's just a clown murdering everybody at the movie theater. Hell, they could even get customers involved. Like, you know, once all the employees are dead, then the customers got to get out of there. Yeah, no, that's that was good. Good demo to, to end like that. That was solid. I don't think the homeless guy is doing too well. All right. So that that game was called Massacre at the Mirage. And we just got a small taste of it. And there was definitely a massacre. The homeless guy died. And then Eric, the the film guy died. So we saw two deaths. Two pretty gruesome deaths. Both resulted in their heads being chopped off. 